Hello and welcome to That British Guy and today I bring you my Extreme Rules predictions. Okay, first match, the mixed tag match between Rich Swan and Sasha Banks against Naim Dar and Alicia Fox. No build up really in this at all. A couple of really pointless matches between Sasha Banks and Alicia Fox which is a real shame for Sasha Banks but I'm giving the win to Rich Swan and Sasha Banks. Um, Rich Swan's just come back so could do with a, a win at a pay-per-view and just Alicia Fox winning out over Sasha Banks just seems really really unlikely so giving that one to uh, Rich Swan and Sasha Banks. Moving on now to the cruiserweight match, the submission match between Neville and Austin Aries. Now, as brilliant a job as Neville has done with the cruiserweight title, really trying to boost the cruiserweight division as much as possible, I feel that he's, he's kind of running out of steam now. He's held the title for quite a few months, and Austin Aries has been there or thereabouts, and I think the only realistic way to extend this program is to move the belt over to Austin Aries and then have Neville, with the help of TJP, start chasing the title again. So if Neville wins this, Austin Aries kind of has to get moved aside and they have to bring in another challenger. And apart from Jack Gallagher, I don't really see anyone else in the division that's really in a position to do that at this moment. And I don't know if Jack Gallagher's a big enough name and a big enough star to work with Neville um, in order to keep bolstering the cruiserweight division. I think moving the title over to Austin Aries and keeping the program going would, would probably be within WWE's best interests, just to keep as much hype as possible within the cruiserweight division. Next we have the tag team match, the steel cage match for the titles between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus. And again, I'm going for new champions here. I think it's time for Cesaro and Sheamus to reclaim those titles. Um, the buzz around the Hardys has really died quite quickly, um, I, which is a surprise really after WrestleMania. I thought that WWE would probably try and keep that going until SummerSlam. Um, and that's not to say they won't, but it, it's just feeling like it's falling flat. A lot to do with the whole broken gimmick issue, so there's there's not a lot coming from them in terms of promos, so they're just sort of turning up, wrestling and winning, and moving on to the next week and wrestling and winning again. It's, it's just starting to get a bit dull, um, so I think moving the titles on to Cesaro and Sheamus... Um, again, might be a nice way of just trying to keep this going a bit longer whilst WWE sort out with Matt Hardy and Impact what's going on with the whole broken gimmick. Once that's in place and once um, Impact are sort of happy, they've been presumably paid quite a lot of money to, to stay out of it then, once that's happened and, and Matt is able to sort of go on with the broken gimmick, then I think it will be sort of up to that him and WWE to sort of work in a new angle. But I, until that time, it sort of feels like they're treading water. And the only realistic way they can keep doing that, again, is to move the title across to Sheamus and Cesaro and then um, see if the Hardys can fight to reclaim the belts again. Next we have the women's title match between Alexa Bliss and Bailey in a kendo stick on a pole match. Um, hmm. Gimmick aside for the match because it's naff as hell. Again, I'm. I, this is kind of finished. I think this feud. I think Bailey needs to lose this. Let Alexa Bliss carry on with with her championship run. And move on to someone else, um, probably Sasha Banks, I, I suppose. Um, if we could get Nia Jax to be involved in this match somehow, that could move Bailey into a program with her, um, sort of on the on the next night of Raw, looking towards Great Balls of Fire, um, so that it sort of moves Bailey away from the title picture and and just try and build her up again 
because she's really sort of suffered since sort of fast lane I think certainly since before Wrestlemania um, I think moving the title onto her before Wrestlemania just it killed all the momentum that she had and she's never really been able to sort of keep any of that energy going since then so moving her away from this and, and giving Alexa Bliss a fresh challenge giving Bailey a fresh opponent and a fresh feud would would be a benefit I think to both of them so going for Alexa Bliss to retain in this one next we have the intercontinental title match between Dean Ambrose and The Miz and if Ambrose gets disqualified he will lose the intercontinental title I am going for a Miz win here but I don't think the disqualification element will actually play into the result of the match I think they will try and work it in, especially with the whole Ambrose being a bit sort of wild and losing his temper. They will try and get that element in and they will probably try and get the Maurice element in, maybe even trying to get her to maybe slap the Miz at the beginning um, to try and get Dean Ambrose disqualified. But I, I feel that they've put the stipulation in there more as a as a swerve because it's it's kind of predictable otherwise um i still think the miz is going to win but i think it's going to be from a fair pinfall um and he will then win the ic title i hope that then sees a nice lengthy title reign from him because he deserves it and he needs it and i also hope it then moves dean ambrose away from the intercontinental title just to keep them two away from each other um it would just be nice for miz to try and and do something like he did on smackdown live um sort of last year with the ic title just bringing the prestige of that up and beating opponent after opponent after opponent ideally until at least sort of survivor series time maybe even the royal rumble just to really showcase the ic title belt especially as the Universal title is not going to be on most episodes of Raw. It's only going to be on maybe every other pay-per-view. Um, so, yeah, that that would just help grow the IC title um, if, if Miz can win that and, and hold it for a nice, nice lengthy title reign. Finally, we move on to the main event, the Extreme Rules Fatal 5-Way match between Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor. Right, Roman Reigns, no. Um, I think he's being kept away from everything um, purely because of WrestleMania 34. Chances are he might go back into his programme with Braun Strowman once Braun Strowman has faced Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. He might even be the one to cost um, Braun Strowman the title at SummerSlam. So I don't think it'll be Roman Reigns. Um, Samoa Joe... Not really sure he's ready for a Universal title match yet. It doesn't really feel like he's done enough. Um, so I don't think it will be him. Bray Wyatt, again, I don't know if he's proven himself in the eyes of the Raw fans. Um, it's a shame because of how his WWE title run ended so quickly and so abruptly. Um Probably the most deserving because he never got his rematch from um, from WrestleMania. Yes, he had the House of Horrors match and he beat Randy Orton, but because the WWE title wasn't in the picture, he still hasn't had his rematch for that. So he's probably the most deserving, but I don't see stock in a Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt matchup. I don't really see the appeal there. Um, I don't think... WWE see the profitability in that either so I don't think it will be him um, Finn Balor definitely looks more likely um, obviously he was earmarked by Paul Heyman um, and I really put him over and he looked great in the triple threat match against Samoa Joe and um, Bray Wyatt and he did most of the work there and actually hit his finisher in order to finish the match but Samoa Joe stole the pinfall so he certainly looks strong enough to win 
Um, I have a feeling, though, that promo with Paul Heyman is probably planting the seeds for maybe Brock Lesnar's title feud after Braun Strowman, after um, SummerSlam, maybe leading in towards Survivor Series or... Um, or maybe just before, sort of between SummerSlam and, and before Survivor Series. Um, so I don't know if it's him, although he is highly likely to. Um, but I'm going to give it to Seth Rollins. Purely because him with Samoa Joe feels like it's kind of run its course. Um, and it's still hanging on the whole Triple H angle. And... It, it just doesn't feel like that's going anywhere anymore and it not really doing a lot for Samoa Joe either so he could go ideally go and do something with someone else um, maybe even Roman Reigns going into Great Balls of Fire and Finn Balor could go into a programme with Bray Wyatt um, like they teased um, about a month or so ago um, Seth Rollins against Brock Lesnar we've seen it before but there's there's still quite a lot of hype in it, um, especially a babyface Seth Rollins um, would would kind of lend a, a different aspect to the match, um, and I don't think he'd be hurt too much by winning this, going to Great Balls of Fire and losing, and then kind of that feud finishing because Brock Lesnar is going towards Braun Strowman for SummerSlam. Um, and it means that then Seth Rollins can work into a program with somebody else. That person could even be involved in the build up to Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire potentially, um, and lead him into that feud. I I think he's probably got the he's got the least to lose by losing. If that makes sense, he's got the the least to lose by going into a very short program with Brock Lesnar making the Universal title feel like it means something again after not seeing it since WrestleMania. Um, he can put on a great match against Brock Lesnar, um, come out shining even in defeat, um, and move on to somebody else for SummerSlam. Maybe even Finn with the whole year since their first ever Universal title match. And that is my... And they are my predictions for Extreme Rules. Um, please let me know if you agree with me, disagree with me. Tell me what you think um, in terms of who, who you think is going to win um, and why. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.